satisfaction. So hello everyone, welcome to the therapy room, I'm actually inside the workshop. I'm actually starting off this different side to my channel, um, so basically um, if this is the first time here, welcome. Um, and if you've seen my stuff before, welcome, because <laughs> this is going to be just a, well I'm hoping it's going to be a fun thing for what I do. So today in the workshop, um, I've got some new toys which I'm going to share with you and then I'm hopefully going to be doing some work with these toys okay so rather than doing full unboxings and stuff like that let's get into this so first thing I bought was um, I'm going to go into wood engraving and carving and do VRA stuff like clocks and you know, anything that we would do. There's loads of stuff with there. And it's basically just to try and take the mind over and give us something interesting to do. So, I bought myself a, a router. Not a router, a router. Okay. Um, and what I like doing is I like to try and do things on the cheap. So, basically what I've done is I have went and bought this router, which is, uh, it's not the cheapest out there, but it's called a, a Katsu. So, it's quite a common brand out there, there's a lot of people going about the, the cheap Chinese stuff as they say but the Katsu brand seems to be one of these that are, it's actually quite a good brand so, it's got a fair chunky weight about it um, this, I've actually put a tool into it actually, so there you go, there's just to let you see what's happening okay, I'll, I'll tilt that a wee bit eh? um, so that, that's obviously the tool in the, in the spigot there but rather than doing a full unboxing and all of that here, there's loads of other videos, so I don't really want to bore you. I'm more interested in trying to show you what I can do with this kind of bad boy. Also, for more intricate and delicate work, I bought myself again. Um, this is called the Genure, right? It's the TPK PT013. Well, if you just Google Genure or go into your online websites, you'll actually pick this thing up. Um, now, what I've done actually ahead of the advancement because this comes with a great piece of kit I've actually put the this Dremel into it the, so, the, the extension into the Dremel so that this cumbersome heavy thing for, for the lightweight work I'm wanting to do that just goes on to here and, and I hang it up I'll actually swing this around a bit just to let you see what I've done ok so that's there ok just, I'll just pick that up that I've just knocked off the flare. So I'll either, uh, I'll either edit that, that out, or I'll just do my usual Laurel and Hardy productions and leave it in. So, <laughs> so now with this, this is actually I've started using this already. So I've got, as you can see, I've got a bit of a sandpaper grinding motor onto this, right? Now, with this tool here. I tell you what, really dusty, so it is very handy to have your own sort of like air extraction or dust extraction. So I got myself my wee cheap hoover here, which is doing nothing. I've took this attachment off of it, because that usually goes onto there, right? And I thought, right, I'll stick that into there. And there you go, look. Bob's your auntie, I've got so when it's the, the dust extraction on, hoover goes on sucked away. So I thought. Here are right. some results from the web. Well, thank you Google. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> go that way, there you go. Right. No sure what happened there, but take two. So, um, as I said, when I put this on here, the problem with this though is attached like this, when I'm trying to move, and I'll bring this down to let you see what I'm doing here, look, this is actually just, it's, it's, it's too rigid, it's a solid bit of plastic, so I've not got the freedom of movement, okay, camera back up, so, now here's what I've done, I found this old bit of tubing, right, which is very, as you can see, very, very flexible, right, so, now the bit of tubing, this end, right, this end here, fits into here, a problem, 
was done, right? But this end, right? This end didn't I? So there, there used to be a thread on here, okay? So basically, what I done was, I used this burring tool. Now this will be quite handy actually, so I'll let you see what I done. It just burrows around like that, and then you just... Go. Oh. Now, I know right away the first thing somebody's going to go, He never had these safety glasses on, eh? Well look, I've had them on, I'm now wearing my specs, so, and I really, I just touched it to let you see what it was then, so, always, always wear safety goggles. That reminds me, that reminds me of to go into Amazon and order a new piece of, pair of safety goggles, so, <laughs> right, here we go, so, I've now took this, and, voila, that is a tight fit. Now, that means now, okay, it does look a bit stupid, right? But, at least, it's working now, okay? So now I need to go into the stages of showing how this works. So, let's go down here now. Oh, there you go. So, you can see that I've drilled many men. Right, this was actually done by this, and that was done by this, okay? But it wasn't that it was on, it was a wee drilly thing, okay? So, it looks deeper, and it does look better than that. So, just to show you how hard or how easy it is, now, I set the depth, come on, I'm going to talk that out just now, I set the depth on this to read um, five millimeters. Okay, so what you do is unhinge that, and you can see that when you slide this up. Actually, if I take it off, right, just let's see. It. There's actually a scale marker onto here. Now let's see if I can get that closer in for you. And back there you go. So that's the the running point, and down either side of it is very lightly inscribed. I'm sorry for the lightning here, but as I said, I'm just starting this off, so. And I know what I'm going to do with that. So if you can't see it, you can top my word for it. But there is actually writing on there. Okay? And that's in one size for millimetres, another size in inches. So I just slide that down to show. And there's five millimetres. Okay? So what I'll do is actually I'll take it down to seven. Because I really, I want to cut into this board. And it's just a temporary thing. So with this... Right, tighten that up, lock that in, now you can see the head is protruding for that, okay? So you have to watch that now, because the minute you lay that like that and it's working, look, it's no flat, it's going to cut in, okay? Right, so, now this bit might get noisy, I've never done this before, so if it does, hit the mute, turn the volume down or whatever, but this... Is a learning thing for me as well. So let's let's see if this works. So Hoover on. Well, it's sucking that air up anyway. So I've got that out of myself. Now the next thing I need to do is, and I'm going to move my phone out the way because that lets me see what I'm doing here. Right. So I'm now going to make that and uh, something as close as that. Okay. So the first thing you've got to do is switch it on and then you've got to... I'm going to go at three, that's only half power, okay? Now here's something that I've just thought about as well, because it's Handy for that. And there you go. And wow! What a difference that's made of that already. So, let's have a shot of the A now.
I'm like no. Oh. So okay, there's only a cake then. Right, finish off with the end. That is ever my first ever attempt at carving. Now, I've got something that uh, while I was doing that there, I've had an idea. So it's great having that, I've got to trace it on, right? So when I look at what I've done, apart from the A, I'll tell you what, I'll see if I can get this back on here again, right? So. If you can notice in this A, you'll see this wee lump here, it defines it at a distance that it's an A, alright? But, if you look at this A here, because it was a lot smaller, and I tried to do it freehand, and to be honest with you, I made an absolute James Hunt it anyway, so, but that has actually, apart from the bit of missing in there, I've had no mess of it with that, as you can see, it's Tidied it up quite a, a good bit. So, now, the reason I've done it on this is because this is my, my routing tool kit that I bought, right? These are the different cutters, okay? And it's a lovely wooden box, and I thought to myself, I'm going to change this. So I'm going to actually stain this, right? I'm also going to put on here, I'm going to get stencils to do a pattern for the therapy room, so that'll go over to this, I'm going to engrave it, obviously it's, if you can see, it is, it's very thin though, uh, I don't think it's a, a thick enough bit of wood, but it's going to have to be a very, very, very fine in grain, um, so what I might actually do is, is just actually stain it, let the stain dry, and then ingrain it, sorry, no ingrain it, um, inscribe into it so that this light colour of the, the pine that's onto here would come through against a dark oak background. So that's the plan, okay? That's what I'll do with that. So that could be, and then from there, um, this is all about learning for me to try and do a clock. Now, <laughs> if you bear with me, I've actually done a clock and I've screwed it up in the wall here. And here's the difference about getting it right. So there's the clock that I originally made. Alright. So as you can see, right, I've got the times, the numbers. I made a back end of the nine there, so I ended up I've done a six twice, but you know, um I'm not sure if it's showing up here on the screen. If I bring it closer, you'll see. There, there, and right there I gouged out too much because I've got to put in the gummins. So this is actually just what works your clock. And as you can see, the mess that this is very, very, very untidy. Now, this is where the routers came in. That's going to come in at its own place. So, basically, I'm going to do another clock, but it's going to look a lot better than just a cheap bit of wood. But at least it worked, right? It has worked, and that's the main thing. So, let's go to the next phase now. So, what's the next phase going to be? Airbrushing. Hold up. Thought. So, in my own the cheap style, I went and bought myself an airbrush kit. Now, my airbrush kit. This bad boy cost me only thirty pound. Now, that is a bit of an unboxing because I, I'm going to let you see what you get for your money. Okay. So for your money, when you open up, I've had a look at this just to make sure it was okay, uh, but I've not opened it. It's still cellophane. 
So that's that's your actual airbrush gun. Okay. So bear in mind, I have never ever done any airbrushing. Right. Uh, that's the hose that the air goes through to the airbrush. Okay. Um, come on. Can I move that around the bit there? Ah, there you go. So, right. So airbrush. Right. There you go. Airbrush. Air to go to the airbrush. 240 volt plug and that powers this bad boy which is what the airbrush goes out ok so oh and then I've got another wee bit in here as well right and that gimp goes in uh, there that's a holder and then your airbrush goes into that well, I'll tell you what it's uh, no bad so why don't we actually go in right there we go now to be fair I uh, haven't actually got a clue we what I've put into this, right? Actually, let me be able to see you, okay? So there is, there's... I think it looks a wee drop, but I believe it uh, goes quite far. So, let's have a quick spray. See what kind of a mess I can make. So... Well, I got a wee bit. Okay, I could live with that. I could live with that. Now, uh, I would love to hear cloth at hand. Because that would come in handy. Eh? Oh, here we go. Right. So, I'm not sure how quick this dries, but... There you go. Wasn't that bad, wasn't that great, but hey ho. Right, and is there any paint left in this? And there is still a mega amount of paint. So what I need to figure out is, this button, right? So this button here is what's causing me the problem that I'm not used to yet. I can push down, and that lets air out, but it doesn't let paint out. You have to pull it backwards. Now, because there's paint, I don't want to do that, so. Right, here we go, let's see how the professionals do it, right, okay, this has obviously got something to do with the flow of this, right, oh, ah, so as you can see it is, Okay, right, now what that's done is, that's splattered a lot of paint out, right, and bear in mind, you'll be wiping this, you'll be cleaning this, you'll be using thinners on, uh, I'll get a good rub in with sandpaper, right, but there you go, wow! Now, to be fair, right, it's not, it's not the best, it's not the greatest, but it's my first attempt. So, well, I'm putting that down to a success.
and if you disagree with us, you're unlucky, okay? So, now, uh, so basically, uh, it just shows you your, your cheap kit does actually work. The airbrush, well, that was fun. I can assure you that was fun. <laughs> it's just getting the use to the back bit here, right? So, what I found is the back one for the needle, um, this actually does the flow, right? And that's how, that was the difference between the first E in a painted and the second E in a painted. So, if I have a quick nose in the cup, and it, the paint, there is, there is still paint in there. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be off camera now. I'm just going to finish clearing this up because you've got cleaning in that today with this. Like everything else, you don't want paint sticking in this and, and ruining your cut up. So, I've got a flushing sequence of to go through. So that's what I'm going to wait to do now. The old flushing sequence. Um, but yeah, yeah, I kind of, I kind of wait to see what the next project is. Um, I've now no got any fears about doing this, apart from the fact that it's uh, it's very thin. So I think I might, I think before I tackle this and ruin my lovely wooden box. I think I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a, if I can, a nice thin bit of that and just, just to play about with it, just to see what I can get. Okay, so, that's it, I'm done. So I've done a bit of carving, I've done a bit of routing, and I've done a bit of painting, and I've created, hee-haw! <laughs> so, listen, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed this and you enjoy this kind of thing, well, you guys are the guys that's going to help me out. So if you want me to do something, you want me to make something, you'd like to understand how to do something, eh, let's do it together, eh? Let's share the troubles and the problems. Eh, hey, fun doing this. I know you have to. So if you're new, please subscribe. If you liked, please hit the like. And if you're already a further subscriber, tell your mates. And I hope that, uh, well, I really do hope we can build this up and make it something we can all enjoy. So the next piece of crap I can think of. <laughs> Enjoy! See ya! <laughs>